Welcome back to another video of kicking it with queen i know i've been gone for a while and not posting videos i had the you know me and the family was going through a little something but we're back better than ever but yes um today i'm coming back to you with a sublimation tutorial of a blanket but before we get into the video please go like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time you post a video and I just want to say thank you to my returning subscribers for your support. Boy, if you don't... I really appreciate it. I'm going to, since I'm back, I'm going to try my hardest to upload more videos. Me and Sun Sun going to come back with some more pranks. We're going to try harder to just be more consistent. You know, life throws us curveballs every once in a while. So, yeah. I'm back, but yes, we finna get into this tutorial, but go ahead, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go. As you all know, I stay in Chicago, and we lost a beautiful soul some months ago. She was so beautiful. Her name was Derricka, and she touched so many lives, and I got the pleasure to meet her mom for the first time, which was wonderful, and I just want to make her something you know make her something uh, something special that she can keep which so i decided to make her this blanket which i sell these on my website so it says i hope you guys can see i i love you to the moon and her photos on this side different photos of her I think it takes like 14 photos so i do sell these on how did that open some creepy stuff going on here oh shit a ghost man you open that up so i do sell those on my website i actually made me one so i made me one but i sell these on my website for 75 dollars Again, the website is www.hisqueenscollection.com. I will link it in the description below so you guys can go check it out. But yes, I wanted to make her something special because I know, well, I haven't been in that position, you know, to lose a child, but I know how hard it could be, you know, to not have someone and she was just so special and so sweet and she touched so many people so yeah i hope i just bring a little joy to her mom once i give her the gift of the blanket but yes we're gonna jump right in to the video so hold on sorry about that these are she was so beautiful guys you see how beautiful she was but these are some more of the photos i have i'm just adding them into my cricut design space this is how you do that so i'm, I'm currently using cricut design space and Just like that. I don't need to touch up anything, then it's gonna be a print to cut. Okay, then I got one more that I wanna get. But yes, this so this is how I go about the photos. Now, my other blanket that I did, the one I just showed you of my grandmother. The, the blocks was way, was larger. So I'm gonna show you guys once I do this. Okay, so let me show you guys the blocks on the other one. So you guys can get a 
understanding. So on here, these was way bigger. So it took a whole eight by 11 sheet, giving me too big of the size. So I had to just keep printing it out until I got the closest size I can get to fit into there. And I'm gonna print out a few with you all. First, let me size these, which this one's gonna go. So I wrote, I wrote them down. I wrote the sizes down, so. to continue finding the pictures that I want to use and then I will just come back to show you all okay guys so I found the 14 photos that I want to use I got them all so now I'm about to start to print I hope I get this where you guys can see but now I'm going to start to print so you want to make sure when you're doing sublimation using pictures and stuff you want to make sure that you mirror your images so they won't go on backwards. So I'm just making sure it's on on all my photos before I print those out. I used to make mistakes like that all the time. I actually made a mistake like that on my, my granny's blanket that I made for myself. So yes, all of them are mirrored, which is perfect. So now I just wanna make sure that I have ink in my printer, so let me Two thousand years later. I'm going to hit go back to one. I'm going to hit print. Continue so we can send to the printer. Now I'm not going to. I'm not going to print to cut this. I'm not going to cut it with the Cricut machine. I'm I'm a hand cut it myself. So I'm using my Epperson ET twenty seven twenty sublim the one I converted into sublimation. I'm using that printer. We're just going to print. Oh, yeah. So, once I print all of these out, I'm going to come back to you. So, I'm going to print them out and then I'm going to cut them all. And I'm going to come back to you and show you all how it's sized up for the blanket. Okay, guys. So, I'm back and I have all the photos that I wanted to what's on the blanket so i have these and then i have these that's going straight up they all cut out and ready to go on the blanket so i'm gonna go here i just got the heat press let me move you guys over here i'm gonna have to turn the light to okay i have the heat press on where the cricket press on, so it's going to three, 400 for 60 seconds. Okay, so this is, this is the blanket. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you guys how I, hope you guys can see. It's kinda hard, I'm using my phone because <clears throat> my camera okay so the press is ready so what we do take this one and we just first you want to look I'm, I'm getting it all messed up let me get my heat resistance tape and my heat resistance tape and then you want to press out any moisture out any moisture that you have and just sit it on there for a couple seconds it don't got to be on there for a long time right that's something okay but let me see one more thing 
Hold on, guys. So you have your paper to cover. Okay. I think they call this parchment paper. So you just take the press over where you're going to sublimate just to get any moisture out. Moisture is out of that one. Okay. Then I'm gonna get I don't know where my lint roller is, but I'm just gonna grab some tape. I'm just gonna grab this tape like this. Y'all know. My old school, take it back old school. Pick that whatever lint is up on here. Pick that up. Get all that link because you don't want none of that in your photo. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the picture that I want to put on this block and just make sure you want to make sure the picture, how you want the picture gets inside of the block. Okay, just make sure it's all covered and it's inside the block the way that you want it. You take your heat resistant tape and oh, oh, yes. Okay, so time is up. So we're gonna let it cool. It'll, it'll show you. You can see. You can see it. So let me pick it up and show you why. So you see, you can see her picture coming through. That means that you should have got a good sublimation. It should have sublimated on the on the blanket perfect. Okay, so let's have a look. You'll put the photo in and then it'll probably be like a little black something if you don't get the the lint or the flyways. So we're just going to keep on going around doing it just how I told you all to do it. So now I'm going to do these two, these two, then these two.
Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So I'm back. This is the end result. It's so pretty. She was so beautiful. Inside and out. I had to throw her siblings in there because they were so close. And it's lovely to the moon and back. So pretty. So cute. So, yes, this is the end result of the blanket. Let me get this piece of tape. Okay. So, this is the end result of the blankets. I hope her mom loves it. I'm pretty sure she's going to love it. Blanket of her baby girl. It's so nice. Zion, come and hold this up for me. Hold on, I'm going to show y'all. We did be here all done right now. I just got it um, on my table. So I'm going to let you see. My Zion. Hold this up for me. Okay. So they can see. No, turn it. Okay, so this is the full. Hold this in. Hold this in. So that's the full blanket. So pretty. Okay, guys, so that is the end of my tutorial blanket that I made. But, yes, please go like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. And just let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video, any videos that you want to see me and the family do so we can bring it to you. And, yeah. <laughs>